He was a mentor to young men caught up in the streets. Tonight, his wife is calling for justice after he was killed doing what he loved in a drive-by shooting. Natalie's back now with his story. Mark Johnson was outside of a church in back of the yards on Friday when he was caught in the crossfire. The 16-year-old mentee he was getting ready to take home was the alleged target of a drive-by shooting. Four bullets struck 61-year-old Johnson, and he was killed. The 16-year-old was also hurt. For years, Johnson dedicated himself to helping young men turn their lives around. He woke up every day knowing the risks, but thought the reward was so much greater. He had three boys, you know, and he changed his life around so that he could better his life to better his kids' life. And so and his whole journey was about helping these young men out here that are lost. They are lost. You know, and somebody got to step up. Chicago. Right. And he was killed. Shalaki. The 16-year-old was... First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to... Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Aqua. And shalom to the hopeful elect. And it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm actually guy, you know, I actually got great head out the door, but uh, I stumbled across this lesson here, and there's so much I can say about this, this, uh, this, uh, this here, man. And there's a bunch of scriptures that come to mind when I saw this, you know, and uh. I only, I'm only going to grab two and I'm going to go, man. But you men that are out there, you know, you're trying to be mentors and all of that. If you men are listening to this lesson, the best thing to do is to teach the young kids, right, how to repent, man. Teach them to turn back from wickedness. Teach them to call and worship on the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see that now? A man's going is of the Lord. So, you know, if they're out there, then they're just out there, man. All right? But our job is to, is to teach the kids, man, how to repent. You see that? Teach them these scriptures. You know, this guy here, he wasn't doing any of those things. And you heard where he got shot at in the back of a church, man. You see? And we didn't, you know, we always do lessons about how the most high dwell of not in temples made with hands. You know, and you could tell that this dude here, you know, he was he was shaving his face and, you know, who knows what else, man. You see that? But the point of this message here, man, is for you individuals to repent, man, and to seek the Lord, right? To study, man. You know, I'm going to go ahead and play it again. And you know what? I'm not going to play it again. But you see this older woman here, you know, she, she, she's old and got, and got umbrellas in. You know, so these people today that call themselves trying to help the youth, they're not doing that, man. All right, this is why the law, statutes, and commandments should, or, you know, practice them over the best of your abilities. This should be your everything, man. You know, if you have a car and it starts to break down, you have to read what? You have to read the manual. You know, so these people out here, they're broken. You see? And ultimately, it's the Lord that did it to us. You know? And you have to read the manual to fix yourself, man. But our people, they don't want to read. You see? So let's just go ahead and just, you know, jump right into a few precepts. Like I said, it's going to be a short lesson. All right? Nothing long, nothing deep, just something short, real quick, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Rathazada's lesson will be edifying to someone, man. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, and it reads, This book of the law, what book, man? 
the King James, 1611 King James Holy Bible. And who's reading this book and breaking it down the correct way? The prophets, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashai. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You see that? So, so your whole conversation, let's keep going here. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Meditate in what? Meditate in these scriptures, man. Meditate on doing the right things. You know, now that guy, he wasn't doing, he, I'm, I'm pretty sure he wasn't teaching the youth, right? The names of the Lord, man. And look what happened to him. He was destroyed, man. That thou mayest observe to do to all that is like it took. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. You see that? Now we can't keep the you know, can't keep all the laws, statutes, and commandments, but that's not an excuse, man. Scriptures tell you that uh that um he have given men no license to sin, man. You see that? And we can't use our grace period to bug out, man. You see? But anyway, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. You see that? So this is how you make your way prosperous, man. By going based off the guidelines that are written in, in this book for you so-called black, Latino, and this is how you become prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. You see that? So this guy here, he wasn't teaching this, man. He wasn't teaching this to the youth. You know? And you see what he got around his neck. I don't know if that's an onk or a cross. You know, so Jake was lost. You know, he was he was trying to help the youth that was lost. But little did he know, he was lost too. And that's why the Lord snatched him out of here, man. He, he's all right now. You see, he's all right now. Three boys, you know, and he changed his life around. He, he didn't change his life around. He was doing it. No, no, he didn't. He was still being wicked, man. Yeah? And if you don't change your life around, you're going to find yourself uh, a pushing up daisies too, man. You 60, 50, 60 something years old wearing cumbrellas. This is how you know that our people are in a bad state, man. Oh, that he could better his life to better his kid's life. And, and he didn't do that. You see that? He didn't do it. Let's go ahead and read one more precept here, and I'm going to end this lesson, man. And again, there's a bunch of precepts that come to mind, but I, you know, I got to get ready to head out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 13. It reads, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You see that? So this is the conclusion of the whole matter. You want to know what life is about for you so-called black, Latino, Native Americans? Listen to this. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high. You see, that's, this is what you should be doing, man. Fearing the most high and doing what? And keeping his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. I don't have to break that down, man. For the most high shall bring every work into judgment. You see that? So everything that you do, the Lord is going to judge you for it, man. With every secret thing. You see that? So you ain't getting away with nothing. Everything is, it, it, the Lord sees all. Whether every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You see that? So, you know, this guy here, you know, he's gone now. He should have taught the youth, right, about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and teaching them the name of the Lord and teaching them how to seek the Lord and teaching them how to repent. And you should have done the same. You see? So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel. Just something real quick. You individuals out there that's, that's calling yourselves mentors and all of that, teach the kids. Teach the kids, man. Shalom.